focus for us is to use the London Initiative as a springboard for increasing the utilization of the economic partnership agreement that we signed in 2008. We signed this agreement in 2008, but for the most part, it's almost four years now, we have done nothing with it. Uh, that's very unfortunate and we've lost a lot of time and what has occurred since then is many other regions have signed economic partnership agreements with Europe. Therefore we've lost that leverage and, and that key area of three years. Um, what we're hoping to do is through the business forum that will be part of the, the London Olympic strategy, we're bringing across many companies, agro-processing, creative industries, um, design, music, etc to London and we're going to have business to business meetings, create a kind of investment framework for businesses to be able to engage with potential um, marketing opportunities in Europe, not just for London but across Europe as a whole. And we're working on that with the ACP BizClim um, project as well as with DFID and the EU support. And I think what is critical to understand is that the Caribbean is a unique brand and it is recognized the world over. If you look at our music, with the Bob Marley's, the Rihanna's, the Burning Spear, Steel Pulse, you name it, our music has transcended what has been a very small region and has basically captured the imagination of the world. You look at Wycliffe Jean as well. You look at the, the Spanish music coming out of the DR. You look at Zouk. And if you also look at our fashion, you look at our sports, which is what we'll be leveraging during this Olympic area. We look at Usain Bolt. We look at Kiran and James, we look at Johan Blake. Five of the top winners of the 100 meters are all from Jamaica in every area. I think it's critical to understand that this is the only region where you can find every culture represented and that there are no issues of who is a minority and who is not. We blend and we blend and create a cultural uniqueness that nobody else has. And it is that brand that is recognized. There's actually a very interesting historical fact. In 1763, when after the Seven Years' War between uh, Britain and France, France lost. And Britain asked them that they told them they had to give up something. So it was either Canada or Martinique. France gave up Canada for Martinique because it was that important to them in terms of the sugar, in terms of their exports. And at that time, sugar was king. The Caribbean continues to be a very, very, very unique, important, high-end brand that we want to promote as something that's different, that can be innovative, that can change the way the world sees the region, and that will be the value of it. That's all, that's all capital that we are going to sell for the rest of the region.